What is going on YouTube? Zero Elite here, and I'm back again with a brand new video on Thursday, Episode 7 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. And uh, we've got a couple of things to work on today. Uh, as you can see, I've got a side view of the Enterprise with some lines going on here. Now, I've got this specifically for a reason. And now you guys are going to start to see why I built out the ship in the order in which I built it out. And basically, our main reason for building out our saucer in the fashion that we did is that we needed this piece, the curve in the lower hull, because this really, in so many ways, dictates where a lot of things are going to go on this ship. So you can see I've got a line here. This is right where the curve on the neck starts. So you can see it goes down at an angle and in and then straight down and then forward and down at an angle and then down again. So we're going to start our curve essentially right where our curve slope for our saucer begins. We going backwards. You can see that our deflector dish is not going to come up to the tip of where our slope starts. It's actually going to stop a couple of, found, a couple of uh, single block foundations behind the neck where it would stop at. And you can see I've got another strut here for where the actual hull should stop. So you can kind of get an idea of how far forward we're going to be able to build our neck at, or excuse me, our lower hull out. So without further ado, we're going to be getting started here in just a moment and building out the wireframe for our neck. Now, I just want to thank you guys again for tuning in today. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely appreciate the views. Um, and any new subscribers, thank you again for subscribing. We're on our way of hitting 1,000 subscribers. Uh, once we do hit this number, you're going to see me doing tutorials on other ships and not just the Enterprise. Uh, this will be the first of many. And I'm very excited to see what we're going to be doing in the future on our different ships. And if there are any tutorials that you guys want to see me do in the future, please make sure to comment below what ships you want to see me do. And it doesn't have to be restricted to Star Trek. It could be Star Wars, Babylon 5, Stargate, Farscape, Firefly, you name it basically. Uh, if I'm into it, I might actually just build it. So um, that's definitely something to... Uh, take into consideration if you need help with a ship and I'm passionate about it I will probably help you out and do a tutorial on it and give you a couple of ideas on things that you can do so anyway moving forward we're gonna take a look at our ship here and see where we're gonna start so you can see that we're gonna start our wireframe for the front of our neck right where the tip is for the curve on the lower hull you can see I'm just going two in and down, two in and down. And I'm going to repeat this process all the way until I get to that single straight foundation line that we made. Well, actually, yeah, I think so. And then I'm going to make a couple of changes as we go down. May not go all the way down, but it's going to be pretty close. So definitely make sure to count out with me as I'm building this how many I'm going down if you're building this ship with me if you need to rewind the video a little bit to see how many I'm building or you can always pause it out and just count these out definitely works too Mm, 
It doesn't look bad at all. That actually looks really good. This is one of the areas that if uh, you don't have a tutorial to go off of, this can take quite a while because as you can see, you literally just have to look at this thing and eye it out and see if your proportion is correct with the rest of the ship. I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're going to be getting rid of that extra that I've got there. Don't need it. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. Sometimes you just got to stop and look and see what looks right. If it doesn't look right to you, delete it and do it again. But I think we've got the makings of a nice base to start with. Might need a little bit of work. I know I'm convinced the back is great. We don't need to change that. Front side, however, I don't know. You know, let's take a quick journey. I just want to look, and that never, never hurts. I just want to see what I did over here, which is no help whatsoever. <laughs> but you know what? One thing I can use, I just want to see how long or wide this is. Now we're going to go back to our pixel circle generator and we're going to do a radius of 20. Pretty basic diagram. Now if I memory serves, when I recall in this video, I think that I made a couple of errors when I was doing this, but I do fix them in this video. 
So. When we add our ring, once you've put that in your pixel circle generator, we're going to come over to our tip. I've got a black separator. You can see I went in, I should have went down. But I will give you a minor spoiler. We are going to completely redo the circle because I remember that I did not like how this came out. And when I was doing this portion of the build, it was about 3.30 in the morning. So I was pretty tired at this point. I think I actually messed up like two or three times. I got frustrated, I stopped for a second, collected myself, and then went back and I did it again the right way. And sometimes that's just what you need to do. Nobody's perfect, everybody makes mistakes. And we're going to zoom out here, you're going to see this jacked up circle that I just made. <laughs> sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself, because that looks horrible. the rest of the circle or I don't know if I could even call it a circle it's something Now, and even that, that doesn't look bad, but I'll tell you the problem with that, is that that shape is a little bit closer to uh, the Enterprise C. Yeah, I'd say it's probably closer to the Enterprise C. You probably could maybe pull off the Enterprise D with that radius too, but um, for the Enterprise, the original Constitution it's just, it's too overly. It's definitely too overly. Moving on, we got a little bit of time left in the build. We've got about 24 minutes. So you can see, I'm going to try to fix this. The first bend. I'm extending that out to three instead of two.
Question is, do we run with it? Or do we rebuild it? And again, it doesn't look bad. It's just... It's too ovally. Hmm. So you see, I don't know if you can catch this. This is where I messed up. When I had it at the radius at 20, we didn't have this marker here in the middle. And that's something I actually forgot to mention, which can be very important when you're working on your pixel circle. If you have a spacer in the middle, always make sure that that spacer is there. If you have to go one big or one smaller, just do it. One row isn't going to make a difference to change the look of your build. It's basically what I'm getting at. But you want to make sure that space is there. Our main reason, my main reason for doing that is that really this is just a build marker so that I know where the middle of this will be and it makes it a little bit easier for me when I build. Now if you can build your ship without it, cool, but uh, for the purpose of this build we're going to keep that going. However, We are going to redo this rink dink circle and get a proper circle going because we are building the Constitution Disco Era Enterprise and not the Enterprise C. You can see I just went out one in front. I'm not building in the same space as my previous circle. Again, when I do on one side, I'm doing on the other just to stay consistent. And now let's do the lower half. And I messed up right there too. See, and that's how you know what time it is. When I did the same thing twice. <laughs> on both sides. And then I did it on the previous circle too. I went to bed after this. As soon as I finished this circle, I was like, alright, I've had enough for the night. I need to go to sleep before I mess this up. But, we are going to finish this circle. Sometimes mistakes do happen. Or, in this case, you just don't get any sleep. There's actually a couple of places that I made a mistake on with this. We're not going to completely do it over again. You can see that there's a few spots. I'm going to actually have to delete all the way up, almost to the top of it. But at this point, I'm so tired that I don't even notice it.
And we got the supporter in the middle. And I'm looking at it and I just can't figure out what I did wrong, but I'm missing my double wide. Right here and here. Now I'm going to sit here and look at it for a second and have my moment and then we're going to fix it. Alright, so now moving forward, I can finally find that I made a mistake in the upper part of my circle. Gotta go a little bit higher on the left. Actually, I actually have to delete that full line on the left. No, that's bad. You're still not fixing your mistake from earlier. And I just realized that. <laughs> there you go. See, you can learn. And now we're going to do the same thing to the right side. And then we're going to bang out the bottom portion of our circle. Now that we finally have it correct. Third or fourth times a charm. I lost track doing this thing so many times. Hey, don't judge me. It happens. <laughs> like I said, sometimes when you slip up like that, the only thing you can do is laugh at yourself. Especially when you catch it on camera. And I'm um, double checking, making sure that everything I did this time was right. As you can see firsthand now, when you rush something combined with being tired, you are bound to make a ton of mistakes. Now let's delete this rink dink circle that we can't even call a circle because I made it so distorted that it's more like an oval off the Enterprise C. And let's get the rest of this removed. Don't need it, so it doesn't need to be there. And let's zoom out. And I know you're thinking, you're probably thinking that that's not that much room on the inside, but you would be very surprised when we actually wireframe out the rest of this and then build out our lower hull. This is quite a bit of room. That's more than wide enough to do what we need to do for this size. And uh, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Definitely like what I got going on here. It's a correct shape and it's right where it needs to be. That's a good outline to have to now wireframe out my lower hull. And of course, got to zoom around and check this thing from all angles, and that's the best thing to do. Notice looking at it from different sides to get an idea if what you did was right 
and go back and look at the pictures of the Enterprise. Um, getting uh, different angles of the ship will help you out and zooming out like I said and looking at it definitely uh, helps you in getting an idea if uh, your proportions are correct or not. So now moving on, shifting gears back into the build, we're going to add an X in the middle of the circle as a build marker for some other stuff and things that we're going to be doing in our future videos. Just to line up our exact dead center of our lower hull. So now I'll, need, so now I'll know where I'm going to be building my deflector dish out and also the inner workings of the deflector dish. Yeah, see, and that looks great. You can see there's just enough distance, and that's what you want. You don't want a ton of space in between the lower part of your hull and your saucer, but there definitely needs to be enough space where you can see the neck, and there's a line going there. Um, again, if this is your first go around on a build, go back, watch my video, see how many I counted down to get an idea of it, look at pictures of the ship. Or if you have questions, comment below. But uh, that is spot on. That is exactly where that needs to be. Because, like I said, we're taking five pounds off the weight of the enter off the weight of this enterprise to make it sl ever so slightly stream more streamlined, like the original TOS enterprise was. But at the same time, we still want to maintain everything that this identifies as being the Discovery Enterprise. So, now we're going to move into the last portion of this build. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I was working on the skirt for the lower hull. And it was about this entire left side here that I made a mistake on. Uh, we built one in off the cut and what I went ahead and did, I went back off camera and I deleted the mistake. So what we're going to be getting ready to do here in just a moment, uh, I'm going to be going around and I'm going to finish this portion of uh, the lower hull. and We're going to add our lip on correctly. if I ever decide to come out of AFK. Here we go. So now you can see I'm, we're moving on and we're gonna bang out the last portion of episode seven. Let's get rid of that access, don't need it. And it looks like I skipped one. Okay, and we're rolling again. And we're going to bang out the rest of this. Now, I do believe there are one or two times I made a few errors still going back to fix this, but I'm going to go back in this video and we're going to fix it before we end. As you can see, I'm leaving a, a gap. There should be one right there in every corner I should be putting one and that's where I'm messing up right now. Everything else I'm doing right except right on that corner when we go in again. I'm not putting a foundation there and it should be. 
that's okay. We're going to fix that in just a moment. Everything else, as of right now, I'm doing right. But at this point in the recording, it's so late and I'm so tired, I don't even realize that I made the mistake until I zoom out and look. So always double check and make sure that you do that. While you're doing something, after you do it, zoom out and look at it. Because even if you are ignoring uh, the fact to, that you're overtired and you made a mistake zo zooming out and looking at it, you might still catch it. So that can save you uh, right there from making a, a mistake. Doesn't seem to be helping me out because I don't zoom out until I think after this ring is done, but I'm only adding in a corner <clears throat> ever so often, so it's not that bad. And our main purpose for adding this lip is that we want to give the impression that our saucer is a little bit more um, curved than it actually is. We're not going to add a six story curve or anything like that because we don't want our saucer to be too tall and too low to the ground. So again, we're cheating and we're just giving the illusion that this has a curve, but in reality, it just has a couple of, just has a layer or two that we added on it. And we're going to bang out the rest of this, and then we're going to go back and we're going to fix the mistakes that I'm making. And you can see I'm just skipping the corner right here. There should be a slab every time I cut in. There should be one there, and I'm going past it. So if you are making that mistake, fix that now. This way you don't have to repeat the same mistake. All right. And there it is. <laughs> and that's what we want. A clear cut across. Remember, if you're correcting your error now to delete the access after you uh, fixed it. Because that will mess up when we go to close this in, or it will mess you up when we go to close this in, because we're going to be doing some uh, some stuff with the with the underparts. Okay, won't have that many more to do. We're getting there. Bang out this corner. And we got about a quarter way to go. And that's something you're going to notice with, uh, with these, uh, or I shouldn't say these, my builds anyway, 
that uh, I usually I just I follow a pattern. Once I come up with a pattern for something, I can make sure that that pattern is followed all the way through on what I'm doing. And this that's solely to stop me from making a mistake. And I also find that the ship just looks cleaner when everything tends to match up a little bit more. There's going to be a couple of places where you have to take liberties, but when you're on the outer ring that we're on right here, this needs to match up. When you get to the inner portions of it, it, that, it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered and it's not, um, the wall of it isn't exposed. So I'm zooming out, just zooming around along, making sure that I haven't made any other errors. Because again, this will mess us up when we go to close our underside of this, of the saucer. And see, look at that, I found another mistake. This is why it's never a bad thing to go back and check your work. All right. And we've definitely gotten some stuff done here. Um, this is going to conclude uh, episode seven. And as you guys can see, we've uh, gotten the beginning portions of our lower hull completed. And we are on our way to getting at least the outside structure of our ship close to being done. I shouldn't say close because we've still got a lot of work to do, but I say close because at this point, a lot of this should go a little bit faster because the longest part is always going to be the saucer. So anyway, just want to thank you guys again for tuning in today. Don't forget to hit that, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to check back with us tomorrow for episode 8. You'll see that video dropping around 9 a.m. Anyway, thank you guys again for checking out the video today. I'll catch you tomorrow in the next video.